Hi, I'm Tammy from TammyJustice.com, and for my birthday this year, my husband got me a Aero-V Aeropress coffee and espresso maker, and I want to show you how I use it. It's really easy and quick to make a good cup of coffee, and it's fun to use, and I thought I would just do a little video demo of how it works. So, to start with, I have the um, coffee and espresso maker, and I need to put a filter in here. And it comes with these paper filters that can be reused. Um, you just put a, a paper filter into the screen and screw it on. Screw it onto there. And then I'm going to put some coffee into here. It came with the scoop. It came with the filters and a holder for the filters and a funnel for if you grind your own coffee beans you can use this funnel to transfer them into there. Um, so I'm going to do a two scoop. Each scoop is about two tablespoons. I'm going to put two scoops in here. This is a finer coffee ground. You can use just one step up from espresso for your grind of coffee. don't want it too coarse for this because it's going to be brewed very quickly. So after I put my coffee in there, um, I'll turn this around so you can see there are numbers on the side for how many scoops of coffee you use. One, two, three, or four. And I use two scoops of coffee so I'm going to put it up to the number two with hot water. And after I put the hot water in, I'm going to use this plunger to plunge the water through and it will press it through that filter and make a delicious cup of espresso. So I have my hot water here. Um, the best temperature of water to use is 175 degrees Fahrenheit. And the way to get the right temperature of water quickly without having to take the temperature every time is um, one of the ways is to put a certain amount of water in the microwave. We do two cups at a time and bring it to a boil and see how long it takes for it to boil and in our microwave it took four minutes to come to a boil and so then you use 75 percent of how long it took to boil which for us is three minutes so we just heat the water in the microwave two cups of water for three minutes and then we know that it's the right temperature and we don't have to check it and guess or take temperature of the water every time we want to make coffee so I'm going to take my hot water and I'm going to pour it in um, up to the number two line. And a little bit of water will drip through, but it's not a problem for a little bit to come through. I'm going to take this stir and I'm going to stir um, to mix. And I'm going to stir for about 10 seconds according to the instructions. So to do it for about 10 seconds. with this part and then I will, let me get this a little bit wet, and I'm going to slowly press the coffee through. It, the direction said about 20 to 30 seconds. I usually do it probably in 20 seconds or less um, to press the coffee through. And this will press the coffee through and also press all of the um, foam and oils and anything good out of the coffee beans. Um, and this is a short amount of time so the coffee won't be bitter. Uh, the filter doesn't allow any sediment to go through so it'll be a nice clear cup of coffee with no sediment in the bottom. You can see how much um, foam is coming off of here. Um, and then this is the cup of, of espresso which I just made a double espresso and so to this uh, espresso then I can add hot milk and have a latte or I can add some of this hot water and then I can have Americano coffee. So I'm going to add enough hot water here. Um, I like my coffee um, maybe watered down even a little bit more because I don't like it too strong but um, you can add the amount of water that you prefer. Um, now I'm going to take the filter off of here and clean this. So I'm going to go over to the sink and I am going to unscrew this 
and this comes off and then I'm going to take off my filter which can be reused and so to reuse this I'm just going to rinse it off under the water and then I would set this to dry on a towel. I've used a filter for five or more times so they definitely can be reused, reused a lot of times without a problem and then I'm going to take my coffee grounds. So I'm just going to push mine into the sink. If you have a compost or something that you can add them to, that would that would work out great. I don't have a compost pile right now, so I don't have a compost bucket. So I'm just going to push mine into the sink to go down the garbage disposal. And then when you push it through, you just need to rinse off the bottom here, like that. And when I pull this back through, it's completely clean. This plunger pushes everything through and it there's no coffee grounds left on this it has a little bit of oil from the coffee on this plunger probably but um, it doesn't need to be washed it is dishwasher safe but it doesn't need to be washed and you can just set it on a towel to dry and go on enjoying your day so that is how it is made um, it makes this a cup of coffee that's not bitter it doesn't have any sediment in the bottom it um, it tastes delicious and the uh, AeroPress doesn't take up a lot of room in the cupboard, and I'm really enjoying it. So, um, anyway, that is... How many cups of coffee does two scoops make? Oh, well, two scoops is supposed to make uh, ten ounces of coffee, and one scoop would make five ounces. So, um, that is the recommended measurements. Of course you can adjust those to what you prefer. We started with the ones they recommend and I like mine a little bit uh, a little bit weaker than what they say but um, you can easily adjust that and we have not had any problems getting great coffee right off right from the start with the AeroPress. So thanks for watching and um, you can check my post for more details and information about the Aerobee AeroPress coffee maker.